Hi guys, uh, Tom here for another review um, and this is going to be on a, an e-cig that my girlfriend recently bought from our local Totally Wicked store that's just opened up in Wakefield it's a Tornado Ego C Mega Twist um, Right, I'm going to go straight to close up cam and show you what's inside the box and then I'll come back and show you how it vapes at the end Right so this is the box, um, and bear with me guys, I'm going to try and keep it all in frame but it's very difficult when you're working backwards and trying to look at the screen. So this is the nice box you get, inside you get some instructions, and here you can see it's pink as it's my girlfriend's, uh, take that out. So this is your battery, this is variable voltage battery as well. And this is your this has got your atomizer head and your cartridge, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you get your um what's that one? That's the USB charger box. Sorry, the light's a bit bright. There we go. Um and you get in here you get some cartridges. Uh, so there's three cartridges, one that's all in it as well, so that's four you get all together. Sorry, there's your cartridges, all sealed, and you get two of these special atomizer heads. Uh, one which is in here, and then one spare one. And you get a couple of caps for your uh, for your cartridges, and just some. They're, they're like rubber mouth shields. So if anyone wants to try out your, you can put one of those on if you're not sure where they've been. So, get rid of the boxes. Oh, uh, I'll just show you. By the way, this is the this is this the battery charger that you get. One of these USB ones. And what you do with the battery is it just screws on there. Sorry, I'm not really good at keeping it in the, on the screen. You just screw it on there, and that screws on in. Uh, that plugs into computer, or if you have a wall adapter, you can purchase wall adapters when you buy this, but they don't come with the kit. Um, not that that matters if this isn't. If this is your first device, it may matter, but if it's not your first device, I'm guessing. If it's your second or third, by that point, someone will have you will have bought a wall adapter. So, right, standard sort of ego type battery. Apart from this one, is a, a variable voltage. So here on the bottom, you've got. It's called a twist because this twists. And it's quite, it's not overly stiff, but it's stiff enough that you're not going to worry about it uh, twisting by accident, maybe in your pocket or if you're not holding it correctly or whatever. You're not going to be worried about it changing voltage without you meaning to, meaning for it to do so. See if we can get this a bit closer. Uh, let's try and zoom it in a bit. There we go. Right, so the little dot is the marker for where it's supposed to be. Now the writing is too small on the silver. Let's line it up. That's 3.2 there. Ah, oh, you can see it, 3.2. And it goes right up from 3.2 to 4.8. Can you see the 4.8? Yeah, just. Yeah. So it's got a good range on it. So that's the battery. Move those. Oh, and I'll show you this. Right, so this is the tank. This bit here pops out, and this little cartridge and mouthpiece all in one is where the fluid goes. And I'll show you that in a minute in a minute. You unscrew this from here. And this basically is just the base that connects onto the battery, that there. And inside, you've got these atomizer heads. 
There we go, with a little, little pin there that goes inside the hole that's in your tank when it's all together. Now when you get it, you just drop one inside there. There we go. And screw that back on and then it'll screw onto your battery. Like that. We're not in focus anymore because I've moved away. Let's focus you back up. There we go. And then this just pushes in when it's full of liquid. Right, so I'm going to go back to normal cam and show you how it works. Right, so in a second, as if by magic, a picture will appear of the atomizer head in the Eagle Twist and it will explain how it works. Right, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fill the tank up with liquid and then I'm going to show you how it vapes and I'm, I'll show the different uh, voltage settings, I'll show you a few of them anyway. Um, right, so this just pulls off. Now when you get, um, when you get these, the, there's a hole in the end, oh, let me see. But that hole will not be there when you first get these. That will be closed off. So what you can do, and you can still do when it's got the hole in, is pull the cap off, fill it up, push the cap back on. And because it's sealed, when you push it in, that little, the end of the atomizer has got like a little needle pipe sort of thing. And you'll hear a click when you push it in. And it'll break that seal. Um, and you do two without pressing the button two sharp drags in and a blow and it'll put the it'll push the fluid in and around the coil basically um, I don't need to do that now obviously that's called priming um, and I don't need to do that now as I've already primed this before to test it out so this is a bottle of 11 milligram uh, apple by Totally Wicked and because this has already been broken the seal you can now just fill it up from there squeeze it in fill it up and that's full I think these hold about one 1.2 ml of liquid which for my girlfriend who's not a very big vapor that that will last her all day um, so then just push it in now you can feel it cl sort of click into place even though the seal's already been broken um, But I suppose um, if you smoke, if you smoke, sorry, if you vape more than that, one 1.2 mil, if that's not enough for you uh, in a day, I suppose what you could do, because they've got sealed caps, um, you could fill a couple up, um, and then you don't have to worry about running out of liquid. You just take another one, fill that up, take that one out with you. If you use all that, click that one in. Uh, and you can buy those little caps separate. So you can then obviously uh, just keep filling up. Make sure you've always got one that's got, that hasn't got a hole in it. And take more than one. You can take as many out as you want, I suppose. Right, so I'm going to try this out. Uh, show you how it vapes. So you've got normal sort of ego battery. Five clicks on, five clicks off. There we go, and we're on. So I'll show you on 3.2, which is the lowest voltage you can have it at. Should have learned never to do it towards the camera. So you can see it's very good on 3.2. Flavours really, really good on these atomizer heads. Um, never used them before, but I'm very impressed with the flavour on them. Um, I'll try on sort of mid range, which is round about, I think, what my girlfriend's been having it at. So uh, let's try it at four. It's four.
So as you can see, more vapour, <laughs> a lot more throat hit on the floor. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with it so far. Um, just only had it a uh, day -ish. Um But I think it's, so far it's working brilliant. Right, I'll do one more uh, vape on it and at the top at 4.8. Um, which is sort of round about what I have my uh, EVIC set at. Um, so I'll give this a go. Massive throat hit on that one. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah, so performs fantastically on that. I don't think many people would have it set at, at 4.8. Um I mean if you want if you're wanting something that powerful you you're probably gonna want something a bit a bit bigger than this because obviously if you're having it set at that all day long batteries not going to last you uh, too long and you're going to go through 1.2 in no time um, but for an average, average someone that smokes an average amount of cigarettes uh, 20 a day if you're moving on to vaping this would be great for that um, flavours fantastic uh, even at 4.8, uh, I mean a, a lot of devices I find, the higher you have them, tend to get a bit more of a burnt taste, flavour sometimes can sort of not come through as well, but it's even on that it was, flavour was very good, um, so I can't see any faults with this yet so far, uh, I might come back and do a later review because I do like to do my reviews after I've tested them for a week, two weeks, sometimes even longer um, just to see if you start to get leaks further down the line or performance drop off or whatever so I might come and do another review on it further down the line might even have my own that's not pink um, so if you've managed to listen to the whole review thank you for watching please subscribe or come Try and find some of my, my other videos. Thanks. You can do anything you want to do.